Okay, Windows has just released an update to the Insider version of Windows where you can run your Android applications from your desktop. Now, they don't run on your desktop. They still run on your phone, but you can access them individually from this interface. Now, if you're running the latest version of Windows Insiders and the correct version of the Your Phone app, you should see this app in preview. Later on, the preview tag should disappear. Now, when you first launch it, you'll see that you have the welcome to the apps walkthrough. And here's a list of all your applications you have installed on your phone. Now, I had a short problem when I first tried to connect. It said it couldn't connect to my phone. But that's really a problem with your phone, not with this particular part of the application. And it should resolve itself where you have to troubleshoot that uh, to make sure you're sharing your screen fine. So just to make sure everything is fine, you can just click on the refresh button right here to refresh your screen and make sure you have all your icons displaying. Now, initially, your apps are just uh, listed in alphabetical order on your phone. and There's no way to rearrange them here. There is a way to add them to favorites, but we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and just run one. Uh, I'm going to run a uh, uh, my audio uh, program that's on my phone. Uh, where is it? It's Black Player. So I'm going to go over here to Black Player and just click on it. And up comes my uh, player with uh, my music list and all that. Now, this is nothing more than remote desktop for your phone, where you can go ahead and access another system uh, through its interface. So let's launch another one. But I'm not going to use the phone's interface down here to try to close this window or bring up a list of running programs. Instead, I'm going to close this window uh, to close the app. And I'm just going to go right back over here and choose another app to run. And in this case, I'll, uh, I'll just use the calculator. So each time you're done with the program and you're doing it, you can't click down here again. You have to close the program. Now, as far as which programs run, you're going to have to play. There's so many different programs available uh, that you're going to have to decide uh, for yourself what works for you and what doesn't. So once you have a program that you uh, want to use uh, from your desktop, uh, there's an easy way to access it. And they built in a very nice favorites uh, feature here where if you just want an app uh, on your favorites and you don't have to search through this long list, you just right click on it and you say add to favorites. And boom, there it is listed on your favorites. And let me do one more just so you can see uh, it listed up there in your favorites. And we just say add to favorites and boom, there it is. But what's even nicer is that you don't have to have a favorites here. You don't even have to have uh, the, your app open. If you right click on it and you see here, uh, you have some choices here, your desktop and taskbar. Let's click on uh, the desktop, okay, start menu, and say yes there. And then you'll notice that if you go down to your Windows start menu, there it is on your Windows start menu. What that means is that you don't even have to have the, your app application running. You can just start it right directly from your start menu. What if you don't use your start menu that much, but you want it on your taskbar? Yeah, it's there too. So if we go into any one of your icons again, and you simply right click on it, you can add it to your taskbar. So here's uh, Instagram. I right click on it and say add to taskbar, and boom, you'll see down here, there it is. So let's try it. Uh, let's close your app, click on the taskbar icon, boom, your app opens and immediately launches the phone screen, connects to the phone and depend upon the app uh, quickly or not. Boom, it switches over, and there's my account on Instagram, and I can do everything from here. Let me go back to the Windows Start menu for a second. And just like any other Windows uh, tiled program, uh, you can arrange these wherever you want. So let's go, I'm going to go and unpin these other ones that I have, and I'm going to go back to the uh, Android, uh, your, your phone app, and I'm going to right-click on some stuff and say, add it to the desktop. Uh, so it's going to prompt me and say, there it is, start menu. And I keep doing that for however many uh, as I want to have. And let me do a couple more here. And we got a, a few of them. Maybe the things you want to do daily. Uh, I'll do Lingo. Let me add that one as well. So now that we have those, I'm going to go back over to the desktop. Now, depending upon what you want to do, you can add these individually to different productivity groups you already have existing. But I'm going to take all these together and grab them and put them together over here and put them into their own little group. Let me rearrange this a little bit. 
and do that. And then the last one here. And then I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, my phone apps and uh, put them there like that. So now that they're in their own little group, uh, I can go ahead and move that group if I want. Oh, wait a second, this guy needs to move a little bit. Okay, now he's in that group. I just do like I normally would do on a desktop. Well, let me uh, widen my view here a little bit. Let me try it again. Okay. And let me go down here to my apps. And I'm going to move my phone apps to the first part of my start menu. So they're there for me to use immediately when I open up my start menu. Now in the settings, if you go down here to the settings on while you're in the your phone app, there's the existing settings that you may or may not be familiar with from prior uses. But if you scroll way down, you'll see there's a new section that where you can configure uh, the app settings. They're pretty self-explanatory, so just go ahead and play with those until you have it the uh, way you like it. Now normally when you're on your phone, the apps access the pictures and other files that are directly on your phone. For example, if I try and do a post to Instagram and I click on the add image, it brings up the list of images that are on your phone. But at the top of your gallery, if you click up there, you get a drop down for the locations. And if you look right here, the other, if you click on that, it will bring up some other locations. And what's important is that you can have your Google Drive or if you use Outlook okay, or OneDrive, uh, you can access your files there. Now, if you haven't used this feature before, you may have to sign in first in order to get access to those files. But once you do, you can simply uh, go to your directory structure here and uh, find the files that you want. Uh, you just go to files, reason, whatever. Let's go into the files here. And there's some of my directories. And I'll scroll down to pictures too, I guess. So go down here to the bottom. Uh, you can say OneDrive here, but there's pictures. So I'll grab one of those. Now these are all here because my PC is synced with OneDrive. So anything on my PC is synced so I can access it that way. Uh, so uh, let me choose one here. Uh, I don't care. Here's a screenshot. It downloads it to the phone. Boom, there it is. I can use Instagram just like I was using it on my phone. Crop and do all those kind of things. And once I'm done playing around with the picture, I'm uh, ready to finish up. So the next time you're working at your desktop and you have that brilliant idea, you don't have to go find your phone wherever you left it at. Pull it out of your pocket. Uh, simply go here and launch the application you want to use and get things done. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.